this is Kurt ASMR. I hope you're doing really, really well today. Um, so I'm really excited for this video because I have uh, three new fragrances which I bought recently. Uh, three cheap fragrances. I got a really good deal on these. Um, and two of them I've already opened and one of them is going to be a brand new unboxing. And that's the Pepe Jeans. You can see it's still in its cellophane. Although I have tried this in store, tried it on the test strip. So I do vaguely know what this smells like. So if you like your perfume tapping and bottle tapping um, and unboxing, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. So let's let's get on with the video. So the first fragrance uh, I've got is this um, Adidas. Uh, pure game uh, fragrance and you can see that I have two Adidas fragrances I actually bought these together um, they were I got them from a, like a drugstore health and beauty store called body care who sell really cheap they sell a lot of nice cheap fragrances but also um, yeah uh, uh, yeah personal care stuff and um, these were really cheap they were 6.99 each so I paid about 14 pounds um, was maybe about 18 18 19 dollars for two of these fragrances I bought these fragrances because I ran out of Pepe jeans celebrate which I've been using for work days um, and that was a really nice fragrance and I and, but it was it wasn't too strong so I used it for work because it was a nice generic one I needed one uh, something for work that wasn't going to offend anybody because um, I, I well I work from home but also I go to the office and I commute on a train um, so something that's not going to offend anybody that's nice and fresh but also something that I could use um, maybe after work as well for the gym so um, these fit the bill so I'm sure some of you might even be familiar with these fragrances, so this is the box. It's a nice like luminous green box and this is a 100 uh, milliliter box there with the Adidas brand on there. On the side it has a nice sort of embossed uh, design there. So, 
full disclosure, I actually didn't know what this smelled like, um, but I do know what Ice Dive smells like, the other one, and we'll come to that shortly, but basically, my partner bought me a gift set of Ice Dive, but it wasn't the Eau de Toilette, it was a gift set of uh, the Aftershave, which I still have. I haven't opened it, uh, or I maybe opened it once, because um, I still have an Aftershave lotion I'm, I'm using up. Um, it came with a body spray, which is not even an eau de toilette, it's just a weak body spray, which I've used up recently. Um, and uh, two shower gels, which I did use up, and I did feature that in my What I Got For Christmas video, I believe. Um, so you can go and check that one out. So, um, so I do know what Ice Dive smells like, and I really like it. Um, but pure game, I did not know what it smelled like. Let's just do some more tapping. So I know you guys like your bottle tapping. And I was hoping these would be nice for summer as well. They'd both give me like a sporty summer fresh vibe. Because we are in summer, although it's a really gloomy, cloudy day. Not too warm, not cold, but we had a bit of a mini heat wave last week. But it's been a strange summer here in the UK, as it often is never know what the weather's going to be like. Anyway, what does this smell like? So I actually have fragrance cut open over here on my laptop, so I'll just read you the notes. I, I, I wasn't even, I didn't, I was amazed that even anyone had bothered to break this down, the notes, but they have, so pure game, but it, by Adidas. It's a woody, spicy fragrance for men. Pure game was launched in 2010. So it's like 14, it's been going for 14 years. Top notes are grapefruit, mandarin orange, basil and pepper. Middle notes are cypress, gayak wood and lavender. And the base notes are tonka bean, sandalwood, patchouli and incense. It's quite a lot of notes for a simple sporty fragrance. So what does it smell like to me? So to me... Uh, it's interesting when I first sprayed this. So I'm actually going to give you a bit of a spray here because it's it's a cheap one. So, okay, ready? And the, the spray is just fine for a cheap fragrance. It's not amazing or anything, but it's fine. So what does it smell like? So to me, when I first smelled this, like I said, I hadn't smelled it before. I have smelled ice dive before. I was going to move these out of the way for now. Um so it's a bit cleaner. Um, it reminded me immediately of something I'd smelled before or owned before and I couldn't place it. That was driving me mad. So this scent is like a, it has a fresh, musky, um, fruity scent. It's very fresh, it's musky almost smells like maybe like a 90s fragrance even though it came out in 2010 and then I got this like it reminded me okay bubble bath it reminds me of kind of like a bubble bath vibe and I owned a, a, a fragrance that smelled just like bubble bath and that fragrance was called Star Wars it was it was this fragrance I bought in a in a pound shop for one pound you know, it's like one of these kids' fragrances that said Star Wars, and I thought, well, for a pound, I've got to try this. And so I bought it and used it up for work, like, um, like it's during the pandemic, so I got through it pretty quickly. It was fine, it was fresh, it was nice. This is a, this is a lot, has a lot more depth than that, even though it did smell a lot like that. You get that kind of fresh bubble bath vibe, like a shower gel vibe, maybe. And I think this is a very popular scent because it's, it's been going for 14 years. I've seen it in like the big sports chains like JJD Sports and Sports Direct. I've seen these on offer. Um, they actually do like a two for 17 pound deal in there. Not sponsored by the way, but they, so they're very popular sporty fragrances for people who just want to be fresh after they've had a, a sports session. Um, and I've actually started, I bought this a week ago, exactly one week ago, and uh, I've already used a good chunk because I've been, it's been my work fragrance, and it's really nice, it doesn't last very long, that you get the opening for an hour or so, and then you get the musky dry down, it'll last you maybe about four hours if you're lucky, um, and I've been reapplying it um, 
if I'd been at home, I'd been reapplying it during the day. And for me, it has an interesting, like a candy, there's almost like a fruity candy vibe inside, like a, yeah, really sweet candy vibe, even though there's no candy um, note listed. Um, it's got to be the grapefruit and mandarin orange. Anything that's fruity sweet, but it smells like really like a candy. To me, there's like a candy note in there. Um, but then when it dries down, you get this like musky, not particularly woody, but a nice musky um, dry down. And it's really pleasant. It's perfect for work, perfect for the gym. I'm really happy that I bought this. It's amazing value. The other thing is you may see the glass is kind of like a it's a little bit sort of foggy and and a lot of my perfume bottles the, the glass is kind of like a bit smudged because what I do is I apply my, my moisturizer or my sun cream every day then I'll put my fragrance on but then by that time I've got sun cream on my fingers and that makes my bottle my glass quite smudgy but that isn't it I think that this glass is probably like a cheaper glass and it's less clear, so they've saved money there as well. Um, but again, it doesn't make any difference to the fragrance. It's a perfectly nice fragrance. So that is Pure Game by Adidas. I'm not really a fan of shaking perfumes, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, very nice. I recommend it for the gym. Um, yeah, and... Uh, yeah, I'm not disappointed at all for the price um, and for what it does. It's really, really nice. Okay, next one. Should I just put this over here? So I don't bash into things. Right, so next let's do Ice Dive. So this is described on the back as cool and aquatic fragrance with natural citrus essential oil. So this comes in a nice sort of turquoise blue box. Geranium, 
sandalwood, patchouli, base notes are pepper, ambergris, musk, tonka bean, and vanilla. So, it's quite a lot of notes there, and this is 2001, so this fragrance is um, 23 years old at the time of recording. But it's still really nice. It's, again, it's like a fresh, musky, very refreshing. It is like diving into a, a bath of ice. Um, sorry, it's a bit louder. There we go. Oh yeah, really fresh. It's 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 fresher than the pure, um, fresher than the pure game because it's um, it's not as musky. It's much fresher. Although this is fresh too. There's the two bottles together because I've used a slight bit more of this one because I've been using this for work. Um, and this one I'd probably use more like after work after I've worked out if I don't use one of my other fragrances and again the, the glass is a bit sort of murky and frosted and it's not my greasy fingers honestly um you can see that on both of them but the, they look nice together actually so and again you've got the grippy grippy sports design so yeah it's fresh um, it's not as musky it's just really really fresh and aquatic and i love 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 aquatic fragrances they are my absolute favorite and I you know I, I know a lot of people don't actually like aquatic fragrances but I love them I really do if I could just have one type of uh, fragrance simply tapping. if I could have one type of fragrance in my collection and nothing else it would be aquatics nice 
device that maybe lasts longer than these cheaper ones um, but again isn't going to choke people out so um, maybe this is going to be too nice for work I don't know um, I'm going to need to try this out so let's get into it um, I might, I'm going to cut here because the cellophane can be quite annoying okay guys so I've got the cellophane off I'm really excited to get into this let's do some tapping first
anything I've smelled before actually, so it smells quite unique. There's the bottle. Um, it's very unique. There's it, the pineapple and the coffee shouldn't work, but it somehow does. And yeah, you get like a roasted coffee, like a kind of like those, like, like that kind of like coffee you'd get in like a tin, like the bottom of a coffee tin or something. But with all the other notes, it's, it's kind of pleasant. It works. Um, this would be good. I don't know if this would be good for the office. I don't know. I'd have to check on the longevity of it. At the moment, it's nice and it's nice and strong. And I'm, I'd be reluctant to wear it like on a train if it was a pack train and I'm close to people. So, um, wow, not disappointed at all. Um, yeah, I'm not disappointed. I like it. It's darker. It may, it may be the strongest of the entire range. Um, but I found it as, I don't know whether it's like it weak, they weakened over time or I got used to the smell, but um, I found that they sat close to the skin after a while. Um, Celebrate was quite strong initially. Um, London Calling was quite strong. S um, cocktail was just weak as anything. Like I said, very disappointing, although the initial smell was nice. So, wow, okay. Okay, so it's a dark coffee scent. It's not that bright at all. It's kind of like a lavendery, uh, yeah, lavender. A bit like a sort of, uh, you get a lot of lavender in um, in older 80s fragrances and a lot of fragrances. Um, oh, this is gonna be nice for winter actually. So, okay, so that's, that's Pepe Jeans, the original deep dark uh, coffee coffee scent who knew um i forgot um i think it was the pre celebrate that had the chocolate and vanilla notes that was certainly a lot sweeter so um yeah wow it's really interesting combination of notes okay so i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna leave it there i hope you enjoyed the sounds and I'm going to try and do a more fragrance content um, for you guys this year. Um, but that was my fragrance haul of three fragrances, three quite good value fragrances and all very nice. So I recommend you check these out uh, if you see them in store. Um, yeah, and I will see you soon for another ASMR video. Take care. Bye bye.